So I did a five-year licensing deal with him where I own the rights to his likeness, image, brand, everything, hired attorneys, drafted the contract, and did a real licensing deal. And it worked out Yeah, his stuff has looked really good for years. I didn't realize that. Oh, yeah. I mean, dude, I, I wrote every word that came out of Josh's mouth. That was everything was wow. me product, producing behind the scenes to build this image and this brand that Josh Altman was a real estate investing expert. It's unbelievable. And it worked. I mean, he is an expert, but like, yeah. it, like I mean, if, but you look how, if you're look a celebrity. How he's built his personal brand through TV and social media and attached it to his agency. And now look, as him and his brother in LA. I mean, they're killing it. Killing it. And dude, that deal with Josh, I made tens of millions of dollars. Josh made millions. I made tens of millions. Like everything worked out and it was fantastic. And I couldn't be more grateful to him too. Because he, any celebrity that allows an entrepreneur to attach their business to, to them, them, it's a risk. Yeah, and they know that they're helping you. I think that's when I look back, I'm like, damn, Tyga, Bieber, Damon John, Joey Carson from the production company of the real world, you know what I mean? Marcus Limonis, like these guys have put me on and they didn't have to. Yeah. And these days people are like, you know, I want to get you on an interview or a podcast or whatever. Like it's tough to do because you don't want to align that brand that you've built with a bunch of random people. Yeah. But then you meet people like yourself who have done it too. And you're like, yeah, this is perfect. This is great alignment. Um, and it's just, it's a learning experience, bro. Like no one will know until they try, you know what I mean? And you won't learn until you fail. So if like your fear is failing, then you better start failing quick so that you get over that because that's part of business. You know what I mean? 100%. And being vulnerable and putting yourself out there, calling Barbara, call, calling Altman, like it is literally reminding me of myself being like going and casting for these TV shows. Yeah. You know what I mean? You just got to be scrappy. You got to be super scrappy and you just... Like I said, no one's gonna just roll out the red carpet. It, yeah. It's all, it and and there's been times where I did license somebody and it didn't work, and I did a tremendous amount of work behind it. But this, they were maybe on one one. They just completed season one of their reality show, and they For were sure. working on you season were two. Too early, but it wasn't hot enough yet. Mm -hmm. You know, and even though the and this is another thing I learned through that process, especially when it comes to online education. If you spend months and months and months building the course, but you don't even know if people want to buy the course, you're actually working backwards. Now, what I do is I build the marketing and the hook and I sell it and then I build it. I'm, I normally don't build it ahead of time anymore because if, you know, it's kind of like the field of dreams, just because you build it doesn't mean anybody's coming. For sure. You got to find that. it's a good that. strategy that you have because you know what your audience wants. And if they're paying money and pulling out their credit cards, then- You'll make the course. You'll go make the course. And it's actually better. I think nowadays people are sick of courses. They're sick of like school. They don't want anything to do with it, but they love a 12-week experience. If like, hey, we're going to meet twice a week on Zoom for 12 weeks in a row and, and you're going to watch me create the course. We're going to do it together. I'm going to record it, but I'm going to train live for the next 12 weeks. People love that.